Hey guys, Dave and Amelia Jansen here with Jensen Fly Fishing and you know this one that we're going to share with you is a lot of fun but you know we've really appreciated the feedback that you've been giving us on our channel so continue to do that, uh, send us comments to videos and also if you haven't subscribed to our channel we'd love that. So this video, uh, this week's video is just full of hot rainbows. It's actually, uh, it's a stream that we found, I think, in year two of going to New Zealand. Uh, Amelia, believe it or not, said, I'm kind of sick of browns. Well, not quite yeah. sick of browns. Yeah, yeah, I needed a bit of variety Yeah, you needed a bit of variety. Right? Yeah. So you said, I want to take on some rainbows. And you charged me with the task of finding a neat piece of water. So we've been fishing this one basically 13 of the last 14 years going to New Zealand. And this is it's just amazing. We we try to get in there one once every trip, but it's a bugger to oh, get into. It's a grunt to get into, you know. <laughs> I mean, we got a, basically a two a good two hour walk, and you know you're having to avoid a really really tight gorge, and it's just it's nasty it's to get into. <laughs> you know, Madagascar yeah. big spikes, and yeah. oh, it's just absolutely a nasty thing. But last year's trip, it was, uh, you know, it rained a lot last season in New Zealand. And we tried to get to this stream early, and we did, but it, the water was high and gushing, and the rainbows were just whew, slashing takes. And oh, yeah. There had been <laughs> footprints in the, in the sand, so it had obviously been fished. And then we got going elsewhere on the island. We, we thought, you know what, in the last third last day of the trip, I think we went back and, and did the long slog in, and it was hot. And oh, yeah, and that's where yeah. <laughs> something happened that you don't want to have. <laughs> you know, I, but... walking side slope through the bush, and I just remember it. And I just we had our rods in four, and I just said to you, my words were, "Okay, we're through the worst of it. I'm just going to put my rod back in two because I didn't want any dangling pieces." I put the rod back in two pieces, and I turn around, and there's bush, and I and I and I put the rod to lead through the bush. And I'm walking, and on this side slope, and I hear this twig break. Nah, it's the tip of my Helios, I'm, you know, the prototype uh, rod from Sean. And yeah, yeah like, and oh. I hear a few expletives, and I'm like, oh, what's happening? Because you were ahead of me, yeah, right? So I'm so, going, what happened? And yeah. Down a rod in the middle of nowhere, and there's no worse feeling sitting in the middle of nowhere holding broken rod. And oh, I was like, oh, so. We felt so gutted yeah. in that moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but thank God we had my rod, right? And that's yep. why you always take two. When you're on a big adventure, you got to have two rods. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not fishing by no. yourself all day. That's why we take two, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But we go for a 14-hour exercise on this creek just to go and take it on. Uh, it's a, it's actually not that high a population of fish. You know, we, we go from, try to take on the dozen or so. But what we really love about it, besides the take it on and the exercise, is the little pockets where you can really hone in and work together on the rod and the camera. Yeah, you get in tight. You know, it takes actually a lot for us to get into these positions sometimes to make sure that we're going to be in the right place to get as close a tight, epic shot of that fish eat yep. and maybe, you know, that fish initial swirl of the water <laughs> and then the fights. I mean, I'm sorry, but the fights for me on oh, that yeah. river because they really tell you you better get up and move otherwise oh, yeah. it's, it's, well, it's a gusher of a little creek yeah. and you get you get just owned so yeah. this video really just highlights our favorite um, series of fish and eats from that little creek twice uh, on two trips into it yeah. last year and it's a lot of fun